Aloha, folks, and welcome to this edition of Five Questions. It's our special series talking with candidates seeking your vote for 2012. And today we're delighted that uh, Governor Ben Cayetano joins us, who, of course, is seeking your vote for mayor of the city and county of Honolulu. And, Gov, it's always a pleasure to have you with us. Aloha to you, sir. Aloha to you, Rick, and all of your listeners. Well, you know, uh, Gov, we're going to jump right on in. It's uh, a basic set of five questions we've been sharing with others. And the uh, first question, of course, would be, uh, what is compelling you to serve as mayor of Honolulu? Rick, I, uh, I came out of retirement. After 10 years in retirement, I decided to come out of retirement because uh, I feel that, uh, that um, my two opponents and those who are running the city right now really have no sense of what, uh, what the big fiscal issues uh, facing the taxpayers of the city are. And uh, maybe that, that, that's because of a lack of experience, but uh, I feel strongly about it. Uh, we already have had um, four uh, cities on, on the mainland go bankrupt, Stockton, California, San Bernardino, uh, Jefferson County, and, uh, and also Harrisburg. And you know, no one could ever imagine those cities would go bankrupt. And when I took a look at the, the debt that, uh, that we face here in Hawaii, uh, I decided somebody had to do something about it. Since no one stepped forward, I decided to step, step forward. And there you have it. Uh, thank you for that, Gov. I get, question number two, I think, speaks to the campaign itself more precisely. Can you share with us uh, what truly differentiates you from your opponents? Well, I think that the uh, uh, you know we clearly differ over uh, the rail issue, but it's more complicated than that because. I think that uh, my two opponents are so focused on rail that they seem to have forgotten and neglected, actually, uh, the huge issues that we face as a city uh, regarding the, the sewer upgrades and uh, the, you know upgrading the water system, the repaving of our roads, which are the third worst in the in the, in the nation. Those are very very basic uh, 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 infrastructure concerns that they, that they seem to have escaped them. And that's the big difference between mm -hmm. between uh, me and them. Uh, talking with Governor Ben Cayetano, seeking your vote as mayor of City and County of Honolulu on this edition of Five Questions. Gov, as we take a look at uh, the entire landscape here in the City and County of Honolulu, what do you consider to be the greatest challenge that's facing us as a community today? Well, I think the greatest challenge is, uh, you know, uh, facing us as a community today is... Um, uh, trying to resolve our problems uh, uh, in a way that uh, takes into account our core values uh, uh, as a people, uh, the beauty of our city, uh, and we we need to strongly, uh, I think, uh, think about what it is that we're going to leave to future generations. I want to leave a city that's beautiful, uh, where the environment is, is continues to be something that attracts people from all over the world. Uh, I want to leave a a city that uh, does not uh, carry with it the kind of debt that I think uh, uh, will be carried uh, if the other guys get in office. And again, that would be uh, question number three. We're motoring forward with Governor Ben Cayetano. And question number four, Gov, um, not only the greatest challenge that we have, but in order to meet the objectives that you've just outlined, uh, what would be your strategy that, uh, that you would attack some of these challenges and and how would you be able to ensure the perpetuation of things that you want to preserve and maybe change some of the things that you see need changing? Well, the one thing that I would not do is to support the laws that have been apparently uh, uh, cranked out by the legislature. Fortunately, most of them have failed. That would uh, exempt uh, or really kind of wipe out our laws uh, regulating the, what you can do in our environment. I think that's very, very, very important. And I... Uh, all I see now is a pro-development uh, attitude. I'm, I'm for development, but I'm for development that's responsible, that's smart. And one of the things that I, that, that I hope to do is to bring aboard with me a first-rate cabinet that understands that, that agrees with me, and is going to help me uh, you know, uh, accomplish uh, that particular goal. We have uh, more than five minutes remaining together, Gov. And if you don't mind, just a couple other questions pertaining to the campaign, etc., uh, it is, uh, without a doubt, uh, uh, one of the hotly contested campaigns of 2012. Is there anything that you would like to clarify at this point that may have emerged during the campaign 
that you'd like to clarify or comment upon to ensure that your side of the story is being told? Well, I think that, uh, you know, by now it should be pretty apparent to uh, the people of, of this, uh, this city uh, that uh, the other side has been running, uh, as far as I'm concerned, a campaign that's, been, that's based on falsehoods and, and lies and, uh, you know, uh, designed to, first of all, uh, not only uh, take me down, but detract uh, or distract the attention of the voters from the real issues that, that face us. It's interesting that Pacific Resources has spent now over half a million dollars on radio ads and TV ads just attacking me, and we've had to, of course, respond each time and, and show uh, the people that those allegations are false. That is one, of the, one thing that uh, marks this campaign or this election quite differently from the eight other elections that I've been involved in, 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 in during the course of my 28 years in, in, in politics. It is, uh, it is a disservice to the public, I think, to, to campaign like this. As uh, you have the unique position, uh, Governor, as being governor for two terms, also mm -hmm. lieutenant governor for two terms, and now uh, the potential of serving as mayor of the city and county of Honolulu, there's always been a concern about duplication of service and role and responsibility between the city and also the state. And since you have that perspective, Gov, can you share with us how would that line be uh, either delineated even further or maybe uh, accepting more state responsibility in city issues? You know, Rick, uh, you hit uh, the, this issue right on the head. Uh, uh, there are many things that the city and state can do to uh, reduce duplication of services. Uh, but in the past, there's always been a political conflict between the mayor of the city, which is about 80% of the population of our state, and the governor. And basically, uh, these two, governor and mayors, were uh, potential uh, political opponents. Mm. So nothing ever got done. This is a unique situation. I already served as governor. I know what it takes to run the, run the state. But the current governor happens to be someone who uh, I can personally deal with. We've been friends for a very, very long time. And I have no uh, political ambitions beyond serving as mayor. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm 72. I, you know, I, I, I don't expect to be running for governor or anything else uh, in the future years. I just want to do this job right. So I can get together with the current governor, Governor Abercrombie. We can sit down, and there has to be some give and take. For example, it, it may be in the state's interest uh, to take over the housing program of the, of the city or work out a, a, a joint committee in which state and city uh, uh, cooperate to leverage their resources to maximize the development of, of uh, affordable housing for our people. Uh, roads, for example, there's, there's some roads that... Uh, you know, uh, perhaps should be under uh, the city's jurisdiction entirely, mm -hmm. and uh, and but yet we have roads that uh, uh, you know the, the the state has responsibility for, and uh, sometimes they don't get uh, they don't get uh, maintained. Uh, so many things that can be done. It is a very unique opportunity, and quite frankly, uh, I'm I'm looking forward to it because I know that on the other side, uh, the governor will not feel threatened by me, uh, and I think that uh, he will see that it is in the public's interest that we work together. Uh, talking with uh, Governor Ben Caetano, who is seeking uh, the mayor's office here for the city and county of Honolulu. Uh, Gov, I want to turn it back over to you for some final thoughts, and then also if you could share some information about your campaign. How can folks contact you if they'd like to help out? Rick, uh, <clears throat> first of all, let me say to the, to, to the folks out there, I, I, I really appreciate the fact that, uh, you know, uh, so many of you have stood by me and the latest polls indicate that uh, that uh, the negative campaign launched against me and my and our campaign uh, has not had uh, much uh, effect. Uh, I think that uh, we are going to uh, stay the course in terms of our our, our our strategy for the rest of the campaign. Continue to be be uh, positive. If we criticize, it'll be uh, objective and and and, and reasonable. Uh, and I think that in the end, uh, uh, we feel some momentum, and I. Uh, and we're hopeful that this election might end on August 11th. And if folks would like to contact you, Gov, what's, uh, is there a best website or phone number you'd like to share? Sure. Um, they can go to our website, which is uh, voteben2012.com. 
uh, roadband2012.com, and the, the telephone numbers of our ward call center and our headquarters are there. Uh, you know, we are on Facebook, uh, we are on Twitter, <laughs> you name it, mm-hmm. we're on it, and uh, there's so many ways that they can, they can contact us. And for me personally, if people want to contact me personally, uh, the best way is to, to contact me by email, and this is my personal in- email, it's BJ Ben. D like in Ben, J like in Jack, Cayetano at AOL.com. Well, there we have it. I, in all the years that we've both been involved with politics and coverage, I never thought I'd hear us talk about Twitter, Facebook, <laughs> LinkedIn, all this, all these other things that, uh, that we have today. So uh, we can't thank you enough, Gov, for taking the time. We appreciate it greatly, and uh, we hope we can talk soon. Thank you. Thank you, Rick. It's been a pleasure and a privilege always to be on your program. Thank you, sir. Take care. Bye. Bye now.